I'm out of time and all I got is four minutes. Four minutes. Hey. I'm out of time and all I got is four minutes. Four minutes. Hey. And welcome back to TVG on America's Horse Racing Network. I'm Ty Trump alongside Simon Bray. You're hearing that music. That is our four-minute pick four music. What we're about to do is do the four-minute pick four for the main pick four on Friday, Ladies Day, starting with Race 5, the Juvenile Phillies. For our Betfair audience who may be joining us for the first time, essentially what we're going to do, we're going to each take two races in the sequence, give you information that you need to hit the pick four, but we're going to do it to funky music and a timer. So here comes the animation. Here comes the clock. The four minute pick four starts right now. The Gray Goose Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies race number five on Friday. You have to start with Negligé. Her win in the Alcibiades at Keeneland was sensational. The final winning margin reads just a half length, but watch her as she rolls down the stretch. She is going to beat Chibi Wild, who is back in this race, but Negligé was much better than the second place finisher, was much better than the other 11 runners on that day. Since that time, Negligé has come back to work a very sharp half mile here at Oak Tree at Santa Anita, is maintaining her form, and at six to one in the morning line, she is a must use in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies. Connie and Michael is the curious horse in here. She's had one start. It was at Keeneland as well. It was her maiden debut going seven furlongs. The word was out. She was 12 to one in the morning line. She went off as the favorite and she crushed. She won by nearly eight lengths in a very good time for the seven furlongs, 122 and three. If she can handle the distance, and I think she can, she can go from maiden victory to Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies victory. The Breeders' Cup filly and mare turf really is going to revolve around forever together, the defending champion. And I think you have to take the assumption that she is not the same filly as last year. So look elsewhere. And I think the first place you start is with Midday, someone that our Betfair customers are very familiar with in Europe. The word from Europe is this filly doesn't have the turn of foot, the burst of acceleration to get the job done. But she will like the firm ground, and I think that's key. You're looking at a victory in the Nassau Stakes, a grade one victory over Rainbow View, who will be competing later in this pick for in the Ladies Classic, and I think has got a shot. So on this form, midday is a must use for trainer Henry Cecil. It'll be a sentimental win should he get in the winner's circle. And then there is Rutherian from the state side. She has been in the money 20 out of a 22 career start. She's won 11 of those. She is ultra consistent. She wins and loses her races by heads and necks, noses and half lengths. She's always there or thereabouts. I think the key with her is going to be the extra eighth of a mile, the extra furlong. She should like the mile and a quarter distance in the Philly and Mare turf. And the Philly and Mare sprint, Ventura is back to defend her title. Who could forget that moment last year when she not only won the race, she won it in track record time, an astonishing seven furlongs in 119 and four. So how is she coming into this year's race? She's coming off a win in the Woodbine Mile against the boys on the grass. And the final time for that race, a mile and 132 flat. Ventura may be better than last year, and that means she is the one to beat in the Philly and Mare Sprint. And she better be good because in this race is a horse who beat her in the spring, Informed Decision. Yeah. Informed Decision is coming off a win last time out at Keeneland Racecourse in the Thoroughbred Club of America. She found trouble about mid-stretch, had to wheel to the outside, and then she won in hand cruising by the pace setter and informed decision has the same running style as ventura she'll be closing late she's the serious threat but ventura may be a single in the pick four the old adage pace makes the race is the case and i think that's the case in the breeders cup ladies classic careless jewel one of a few three-year-olds in here has drawn the inside post the connections have got to be very happy with her post position she is a late developer. She can control this race from gate to wire. Her average winning margin in the last four starts has been about 11 lengths. And remember, seven three-year-olds have won the Ladies Classic. So things are in her favor. She is clearly the one to beat. You look to last year's third place finisher, Music Note. She comes back here for trainer side Bin Sura and Godolphing Racing. She comes in off two very, very good victories. Her most recent one in the Bell Dame over Unbridled Bell. She won this race by convincing two and a quarter lengths. She will be the morning line favorite and she probably is a must use. And again, favorites have won this race about 44% of the time. Other horses to talk about in here would be Rainbow View who has worked very, very well here over the surface since that good second place finish in the EP Taylor. So I think it's about Careless Jewel, Music Note and Rainbow View in the Ladies Classic. That is all the information you need to hit the pick four races five through eight on Ladies Day. Friday, the Breeders' Cup World Championships here at Oak Tree at Santa Anita.